I want to have as much edible food in my yard as possible, but I want it to be placed in a beautiful way, in color, uh, in a balanced way as well. I'm a, originally a painter and a sculptor, so uh, all that visual is very important to me. Every little vignette is interesting. I have drip lines everywhere. I've had those forever, for probably 20 years. I started out with it. I only water when a plant needs water. So when it needs it, it gets water. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I use uh, the, the rain barrels I use um, to catch and then I'll soak. So I'll just put a hose on it and soak. I don't really do individual uh, watering cans from that. But I do have antique watering cans placed everywhere in areas that need a little bit more attention. So it'll bring my attention to that. Oh, the water's right next to the plant. I try to put the thing that the plant needs next to it. Like I have a compost back in the back. I have two composts going. So I have one that's ready to go and one that's continually moving. And then I have brown oak leaves next to it. Uh, you can use all your green waste from your garden and then don't let go of your leaves. Use your leaves as a, um, a cover for the soils. It's going to enrich the soils. It's going to keep the moisture. That's another thing about being water wise, in my opinion, is that you are trying to keep the water there. You want it to stay moist. So you use a lot of compost, a lot of ground covers, uh, anything to keep uh, it from drying up as quickly. I don't use any pesticides, no fertilizers. Everything I do is entirely natural. I continually am bringing in more mulch. I'm continually bringing in things that it's going to benefit the garden and it doesn't go to the landfill. Congratulations, Thank and we you. have a lovely stepping stone for you that you can display in your landscape. It's so beautiful, I just love it.